We are not fixing the amp, we are just testing the sound to fix this speaker. So here the, to the little speaker we have the sound fine. But here, you see the speaker is connected to here, but we have no sound. Here I'm gonna unplug this little speaker, we have no sound to here at all. This is what the repair uh, for today. Synchtronic. So this one is a 4 ohm, 1500 watt. It's a good speaker size, but it has uh, no sound. The customer got the speakers as used it. He said he, he used them just a couple times. And uh, he told me that one time when he was trying to, to connect the speaker, he did hear the sound. So after that, no sound. So could be like a bad connection. Let's try to take the screws and look at it. Speaker boot, two big coils. We have a capacitor here. 3.3 ohm. 10 watt resistor, some capacitors, and a capacitor here. So like that is a very simple uh, So I'm gonna take these two wires from here. So I wanna follow where is the, where the sound is stuck. And you can see here in the bottoms, these two wires here, it's go, there is a two plates, and it's go to these big wires here. So if I connect this one, if I connect it here, do I have the sound? Yeah, we have the sound. Here, if I connect them to here, Yeah, we have the sound. If I connect them to here. No sound here. No sound here. But there is a sound here. Yeah, from here, yeah, you have the sound. But here, no sound. Well, maybe it's a bad uh, solder joint. Because I think I see a very poor soldering. Yeah, look here. You see that? Crack. The other side is cracked too. It's a very bad solder quality here. Look here. You see the hole? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to do all this. Uh, so let's check. I'm just feeling lucky with these speakers. We still have one speaker waiting. I just got it today, this one here. And they got a board from a customer online to fix uh, the amplifier board online to fix it. Yeah, sometime I got a job that's why you put days trying to figure out how to fix it. 
But sometimes the job is came uh, like more easy. Very poor soldering job here. And this look like is a factory solder. Look at the holes here. And here. Even they don't cut the extra wire that's... Anyway, let's fix it. Yeah, this video it will be just for someone that has the same speaker and facing the same uh, issue. There's not a lot of things to learn from this. Well, just... Uh, I'm going to go a solder in all these points. <laughs> Look, even the capacitor, how they solder it, it's horrible. This coil wire is not a copper. Just a cheap wire that's colored as a copper. This is an aluminum wire here. Ridiculous. Yeah, the aluminum wire is not going to catch in the, the solder is not going to catch on it. Yeah, if you get the solder and the aluminum, it will be just a small spot. Like now, you can see it. Just the solder is flying away. It's running away from the wire.
so the coil is connected. I'm not happy with that. But this is the aluminum. We can't do nothing to it. The aluminum is bad with the, with the solder. So let's go back to the main problem. So we were fighting with, like, not the, the original problem. So the main problem is here. Need to solder this with that. Let's connect to the speakers and see if that's going to work. Yeah, sometimes it's a sample job, it's probably take a little bit of time. Yeah, it works. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you again.